You've brought the Junior Illustrated Dictionary to use in the classroom with children in classes one and two. That's great. How do you use it? First of all, children need to know the order of the alphabet. If they're not sure about the order of the alphabet, there are lots of worksheets on, on the website collins.in that you can print off and use in the classroom. You'll also find when you look at the dictionary that there's an alphabetical tab on each page to help remind children of the order the letters come in, A, B, C, D, etc, etc. OK, the child has now found the word that they're looking up. The first thing you'll see is that not only is the head word given in full, but that any inflected forms are given. So if it's a noun, we show the plural form, if there is one. If it's a verb, we show the different forms of the verb. So we show the past tenses. We show the ing form. The next thing you'll look at will be the definition, and you'll see that the definition is written in the form of a full sentence. This makes it easy for the children to understand, and it also shows them the words in use. So it shows the word in its typical grammatical context. If they've looked up a noun, they'll see that the definition probably starts with the word a uh, or the, showing the word in its grammatical use. Lots of words also have extra example sentences which give the children yet more information about how the words are used. And some difficult words, words for concepts that are difficult to describe or words that might have lots of different meanings like chip, can be a computer chip or something that you eat, lots of words like that have illustrations in the dictionaries to help children really understand how words are used. So that's the key features in the Junior Illustrated Dictionary. For more updates and for more information and more video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel on Collins India.